How are you guys? Welcome back to Cars Ogre's channel. I'm gonna show you some trouble. Oh, kids. No, not really. I'm gonna show you a solution. Um, well worth trying out, I think. After having trouble with thrips, especially thrips. I mean, when you lose one enemy, <laughs> there will be another coming to replace it. Isn't that always so? Um, so once I got rid of, almost got rid of all of my scale, the scale infestation, uh, <laughs> it was exchanged by a uh, thrip infestation instead. So uh, I must say that I rather choose the scale. Oh lordy, yeah, that's the truth. We're gonna look at a few orchids with thrips damage and also a little orchid which I find somewhat peculiar. So, well, watering time isn't that time the very best time to discover strange stuff with the orchids and new stuff. So, something came into my perception lately. Uh, what is that, you may ask yourself. Hmm. Three leaves left on the Kaisers Limhay from Swarta Orchidine in Germany. Three leaves. Is it dying? No, but it's approaching winter time. I'm not giving it uh, any kind of um, resting period regarding watering routines and stuff. Still, it's always threading its leaves. of this time of the year. Approaching winter, during winter, to um, create some new little uh, growth in between to the base of its latest uh, matured pseudobob. Now, for the time being, leafless ones. Shiny, fresh ones, no leaves. It tells me that this one is really a deciduous orchid, at least in here. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's been blooming a, a couple of times, uh, a good blooming, uh, even. So uh, it's not doing bad. Yes, do you have other thoughts on it? Yeah, you're very much welcome to uh, put a comment down there, below in the comment section. Alienopsis, Mickey Golden Sand. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, it's thrips, the exotic black thrips which are currently causing a lot of damage amongst my collection of orchids. Yeah. My orchids are really, really tightly placed towards each other, next to each other, so they really need to be pest-free, and bug-free, scale-free, thrips-free, whatever evil name you may come up with. I sprayed a few of them, some kind of mild pesticide, the only one available for the moment. Yeah, it helped a little bit, but it's a little bit too mild. And uh, the most severe attack occurred on one of my very best plants, Epidendrum stamfordianum species, which has grown uh, really wide recently. It's got thrips. This is some kind of, um, this is the kind of damage thrips can do to an orchid, to the orchid's leaves. They've even been in here, to its new leaf here. Not even opened yet. It's no new growth, uh, yeah, partially destroyed. And on top of it all, it even caught scale. I thought I got rid of it once and for all, but no, no, no. This one was hidden away back there. In the back part of the window, so, uh, well, I'm a little bit too lazy to, uh, uh, bring it down to the front and water it and uh, examine it thoroughly um, frequently enough so this is what happens they operate in silence <laughs> in the fog <laughs> so um, what did I do yeah I sprayed it with the uh, leaf gloss and that one really did the trick so now we're rid of it but we got some nasty little patches left um, today 
I'm going to water him. Nothing more and nothing less to it. But what I will do is use another kind of pesticide. A totally different and uh, extremely new experience to me. So, in a second you will be aware what's in the little package, which I'm soon about to open up to you. Well, as I said, this is what's happening with thrips lurking about. The black spots are usually poop, which they leave behind. This one is bad. This one is better, fortunately, that is. But it's going to go over really fast. Yeah, it's not a good thing to have rips in your collection. It can eat the butts on your bandas before they even have a chance to develop correctly. Uh, they will snag off uh, just about anything and discolor the leaves on a monstera. Ah, easily, no doubt. Uh, what else damage can they make um, in the fog? <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so a little bug on this one. And I think I'm seeing one for the moment. Can you see it? I bet it's dead. What is it? Yeah. It's got some stuff in here going on. Something moving on this guy, not long ago. Uh, wrinkle style is... Its butt has been eaten off a little bit as well. So, and yeah, as you saw, previous video. Look at this flower. Usually, a um, really beautiful flower. So disturbed and distorted. This one is better. Um, don't know why. Uh, open up today. Or trying to open up. It looks a little bit better. Yeah, it made it. Uh, a little bit more hidden down there but this cannot go on uh, I need to uh, do something about it immediately so um, yeah so this is the bug Aureus bug <laughs> anyways looks like this um, I got the information on email a couple of days before they were delivered. Yeah, you can see the name here. Aureus Majusculus. Majusculus. I believe I got the information, but I'm not sure where I put it. Um, what is said in the email? We should take a look. Yes, I want to get this right. <clears throat> well, I'm not I'm that much wiser, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be uh, um, different stages of them. The bugs in here, um, from a little worm to a full grown up one, um, and this one can, um, the ones in here about 100 or uh, covers about 10 square meters, and they will uh, breed and multiply, and they will move and they will fly eventually, the grown ups can fly, and they will move. Uh, from plant to plant and they will even go inside to collect some pollen inside the flowers and that's where I've been uh, seeing thrips lately as I said you can see the damage on the flower uh, I saw it when it opened up so the damage was already done so um, yeah they are doing loads of damage and really, really taking a toll on my collection. And they also uh, suck the little uh, nymphs out directly and eat them. So um, in that state, at that stage, so uh, the strips won't uh, become uh, mature. They eat the eggs and everything. So I think this may be efficient. I was talking a little bit uh, with a girl at the Orchid Society meeting and she she'd been using these guys before. And it took about three weeks to for her to see the results. So... Uh, I think there will be, but I do have uh, a few places with most uh, problems are, so I need to spread them out into my kitchen and all around this area. So let's just choose wisely, shall we? Yeah. Um, and it also said in the email that <laughs> these guys were supposed to uh, arrive in a little box, so 
a transparent box so I can see them. Uh, see if they are alive and in good shape and condition. So uh, I'm not really able to see anything here. So I will need to pour them out here. And I am I must admit I'm a little bit scared. I feel a little bit um, disgusted. I mean, not disgusted, but I, I don't like bugs really in any state. <laughs> so let's just do it and see what happens. And I shouldn't open the windows or any back and doors or stuff. Uh, for the following couple of days, so they will um, uh, flee. <laughs> Escape from my apartment, yeah? <laughs> yeah, wait a sec. Well, I did that to open up the little bottle, and what do we see? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the information folder, it said that I shouldn't be um, scared if I didn't see any kind of activity. They aren't dead, uh, perhaps not. <laughs> the temperature needs to have reached uh, about 16 degrees in here to uh, make them a little bit more active. Well, let's see what happens if I pour them out. Ah, now I know, ah, now I know, now I can see, yay, goodly good. Yeah, they are moving, goodly good. Kind of uh, beautiful little ones. Uh, they look almost like the ones I want to get rid of. So maybe I got some goodly good biological pesticides, shall we say, um, with me. Maybe that was what I saw um, at the plant. It looks just like this, I mean, but I didn't see any uh, wings to the one on the phalaenopsis. So uh, not entirely sure, but they do seem to uh, move quickly, swiftly. Uh. Yeah, this one will last for a bit, I believe, but I need to place them out, all of them, immediately. They will die otherwise. Um, so I need a few more uh, 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 small trays or cups of some sort. So, yeah, let's just do it, man. Place this one up here, to the middle, where the uh, loads of damage has been done. Look at this one, for example. Um, it's new growth. Yes. So, here, up there, and maybe somewhere here, amongst the fowls. Yes, and that fowl I had a little bit of difficulties with. Um, maybe I should put it closer to that guy instead. Yeah, here, to the middle. Yes, sir. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, um, bottom shelf. Yes, of course. Uh, here we got a huge amount of problems to the uh, dendrobiums. They love to eat dendrobium leaves. So, here we don't have so much problems, but uh, yeah, maybe I should swift switch. Uh, yeah, we do like this here. Yeah. Yep. As I say, they do spread. Goodly good. Now continue. <laughs> I wonder if they all left. Left the building. Elvis has left the building. No. <laughs> Already. So yeah. Let's just uh put it there. Back there. Oh yeah. yeah. We <laughs> in there, maybe. And uh, maybe in there, behind it all. Nearby, this flower. This spot is its uh, normal place, so uh, that's a good spot to put them. Well, let's continue. Nothing alive in there, is it? Yeah, stuff. Yeah, still moving down there. I need to swiftly bring these guys into my kitchen area, otherwise uh, there won't be any left before they fly away for us, yes. So where do we have it? We have it everywhere here, so around this plant, so just put it to the back side, um, back side of the lovely Cattleya, who should glory happy holiday here. Yeah. So one more to the kitchen area, where do you have the problems? Ah, yeah. So the problems to this orchid. 
these orchids, as a matter of fact. Uh, you can see the news growth there. Bra markings. Yeah, we surely need it here. So, down you go. Oh no, to the middle, perhaps. <laughs> this is crazy, this is fun, guys. Uh, perhaps here, where I cannot detect the uh, this little egg. Uh, cup. So, this bottle still carries a few, so just put it back there. And this guy shall be here. To the other side, somewhere. Maybe nearby this little wrinkle stylus. Yeah, I do believe we're done. Now let's see if we can see some good results in a few weeks' time. Three weeks' time. This is the name in Latin. Why I choose this one is because of its ability to um, uh, hunt the um, exotic thrips as well, the darker ones. So, wider spectrum, this one, a little bit larger one. So, and I, I have good references from my friends, so, yeah. All right, guys, I think this, <laughs> this is enough <laughs> for this session. Well, 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 not so fast. Don't switch off me <laughs> and my video yet. This is one week after I uh, planted the little bucks into my collection. And right now I'm standing in my kitchen window. <laughs> not, not, I am not standing in the window. My lovely Fushu Glory Happy Holiday with the um, little damaged flowers. Thrip damage to his flowers. This time, um, instead, of, instead of a lovely mass blooming, uh, Christmas mass blooming. Uh, we just, I received this. So, this is the result, but we also see something else one week later. And that is, look at it, can you see? The little bug is where it belongs. The mature bug here, you can see it. Now it's hiding, it's a little bit scared of me and my uh, treatment. <laughs> uh, look. So small, the guys also came along in the package, little bottle. They came in various diverse sizes. So uh, from nymph to uh, mature ones, mature bugs. Uh, so right. <laughs> so now they're doing their job here and uh, do what they should do. And what they're supposed to do. And they found the thrips. The predators. Which are destroying my lovely cattleya flowers. Let's get rid of them once and for all. So, they're doing their job. It's working. I hope. <laughs> we shall talk soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.